Hey, this is Bobby Hunt, 3 bluelightdietcom and today I have some notes on the sunrise for you that I took from uh, some spectrometer readings, some lux readings, some color temperature readings, and also uh, UV meter readings. It's a little windy here. I hope this comes out okay, but I am in Punta del Este, uh, Uruguay right now. It's February here, which is their summertime. Uh, Uruguay is basically, they're about as south of the equator as Florida is north of the equator. So use that for um, some comparison purposes. Now, uh, the sunrise was at about 6.10 a.m. today. Um, I didn't get out until about 6, but here are my notes from 6. So at 6, it's about 10, 10 minutes before the sunrise, there was no UV. The UV meter read is zero. Uh, the color temperature, which I'll talk more about this reading in a second, but was 4,800 Kelvin. Uh, the Lux was 140. And the spectrum was way more red than blue. Um, there was a little, little bump of blue, some little, little bump of blue, but tons of red. Now, 10 minutes later, at sunrise, what we saw was that spectrum. We see a blue spike in that spectrum. So the blue starts to catch up to and is almost equal to the red on the meter. We still have, uh, by the way, at the 6 a.m. reading, the red peaked at about 740 nanometers. At sunrise reading, the red dropped to about 670 nanometers, and the blue almost equaled it in terms of uh, how much uh, there was on the spectrometer. The color temperature went up by about a thousand, so it's now 5,800. Uh, the lux went from 140 10 minutes before to 500 at sunrise, and the UV is still at zero. So things are getting brighter. Um, the red is going away, and you're waking up. Now, Here's some neat stuff. 10 minutes after sunrise, the UV is still zero. The blue has peaked and now it surpassed the red. So now the, the highest point reading on, on the meter is uh, 477 nanometers. And the amount of blue is basically equal to the amount of red. The color temperature has gone up to 6,000 Kelvin. And the lux has gone up, has trip, almost quadrupled, basically 1,663. So we see a, a huge spike uh, in the lux meter reading. That's kind of like the brightness uh, around you. The, also, the, the spectrometer, the light, is, is just, the reading is fuller. So if you look at a, um, the spectral output graph of like a, one of those terrible LED lights with the blue spike, the really spiky blues. You notice how empty it is? It, it's emptier, it's not as empty as that at sunrise, but now 10 minutes after sunrise, all that's filled in. So, so uh, lots of light out here. Now, one more reading. 20 minutes after sunrise, uh, the color temperature has stabilized at about 6,000, 6,500. And here's the thing about color temperature. It really depends on where you point your meter at. So if you're pointing your meter directly, where am I, directly at the sun, the color temperature on your meter at the same exact time is going to be much lower than if you're pointing your meter directly at the sky. Uh, I find in the readings that it's two, three thousand, sometimes four thousand uh, Kelvin difference, 
at the same exact time. So a lot of this depends on where exactly you're pointing your meter. But anyways, 20 minutes after sunrise, 6,000 K color temperature, the spectrum, the blue dominates, but now the cool thing is the green has also peaked and it equals the blue. So the blue and the green are just a little bit higher than red. Um, the, the, the spectrum is full. So if, if you look at a graph, it's all filled in. Um, the UV is 0 0.1, and that means uh, it's basically nothing. On the UV index, if you're using D-Minder, that would be a zero. And I find that uh, even um, even 40 minutes to an hour after sunrise here, the UV meter still reads 0 0.2. So you've got a lot of time from sunrise to, uh, to get some good light on your skin that's basically virtually UV free. Um, but 20 minutes after sunrise, we're 6,000 color temperature. The spectrum, it's a blue-green peak. Blue-green starting to equal red, and or it does equal and surpasses the red. The UV is 0.1, but the Lux, the Lux has gone up to 4,000. So a neat thing about sunrise is that the Lux goes from 100 to 4,000 pretty quickly, so that brightness that brightness really turns on your circadian rhythm and wakes you up. It does some good things. Um, all right, I think that's enough for now. Hopefully that came out. And uh, this is Punta del Este. It's not a bad spot.